Under the crushing silence of the waves, a secret seeps. A lost civilization, swallowed by the ocean's wrath, shrouded in myth and whispered legend. They called it the Myria. For centuries, scholars have dismissed it as mere fantasy. But what if there's more? What if, hidden beneath the churning tides, lie the pre-flood ruins that rewrite the very pages of history? Join us on a thrilling quest, a dive into the unknown. Prepare to unravel the riddles of Lemuria. This is not just a search for a lost city, but a journey to uncover the truth about humanity's forgotten past. In the middle of the 1800s, a small group of scientists, working with very little evidence, proposed the idea that there was once a continent that had vanished into the Indian Ocean. They referred to this land as Lemuria. There was a race of people who had lived on this lost continent that is now extinct. They were known as Lemurians, and they possessed four arms and gigantic hermaphrodite bodies. Despite this, they are considered to be the progenitors of contemporary humans, and maybe even lemurs. There was a period of time where the concept thrived in popular culture, as well as in some areas of the scientific community, despite the fact that it may seem to be completely absurd. For a very long time, modern science has categorically refuted the idea of the Muria. But then, in 2013, geologists uncovered evidence of a vanished continent exactly where Lemuria was claimed to have been, and the old beliefs began showing up once more. In 1864, British barrister and biologist Philip Lutley Sclater prepared an article titled The Mammals of Madagascar and got it published in the Quarterly Journal of Science. This was the first time that Lemuria hypotheses gained widespread attention. Sclater made the observation that there were a great deal more species of lemurs in Madagascar than there were in either Africa or India. As a result, he asserted that Madagascar was the animal's native habitat. Furthermore, he argued that a landmass that stretched across the southern Indian Ocean in the form of a triangle was the reason why lemurs were able to move to India and Africa from Madagascar in the first place. This continent is no longer in existence. This continent which Sclater referred to as the Muria, was said to have reached the southernmost point of India, southern Africa, and western Australia before finally sinking to the bottom of the ocean. This theory was developed during a period in which the field of evolution was still in its infancy, the concept of continental drift was not widely accepted, and a large number of prominent scientists were employing land bridge theories to explain how different animals once migrated from one location to another a theory that was comparable to Slater's had even been proposed by the French naturalist Etienne Geoffroy saint hilaire 20 years earlier. Slater's idea was able to acquire some momentum as a result. In a short amount of time, a number of other renowned scientists and writers continued to pursue the Lemurio idea. In the latter part of the 1860s, the German scientist Ernst Haeckel started publishing his work in which he said that Lemuria was the factor that enabled humans to make their first migration from Asia, which was thought by some people at the time to be the area where mankind originated, to Africa. As far as Haeckel was concerned, the possibility exists that Lemuria, sometimes known as Paradise, was the actual place where people originated. The following is an excerpt from a piece that he published in the year 1870. The probable primeval home or Paradise is here assumed to be Lemuria, a tropical continent at present lying below the level of the Indian Ocean, the former existence of which in the tertiary period seems very probable from numerous facts in animal and vegetable geography. The Muria hypotheses continued to be studied throughout the 1800s and into the early 1900s, with the assistance of Haeckel. These theories were often discussed in conjunction with the story of Kumarikandam, which was a purported lost continent in the Indian Ocean that may have previously been home to a Tamil civilization. This occurred before the discovery of ancient human remains in Africa by contemporary science, which revealed that Africa was in fact the continent that housed the origins of people. In addition, this occurred before contemporary seismologists had a better understanding of how plate tectonics caused the continents that were formerly united to drift away from each other and into their current configurations. Without this information, many people continued to believe in the concept of Lemuria, particularly when Lena Blavatskaja, a Russian occultist, medium and novelist, released the secret doctrine in the year 1888. One of the seven ancient races of mankind, 
was said to have called a Muria home at one point in time, according to the theory that was presented in this book for the first time. According to Blavatskaja, this hermaphrodite race, which was 35 feet tall and four-armed, thrived alongside the dinosaurs. There were even ideas that stated that these Lemurians developed into the lemurs that we have with us today. After that, it is not surprising that Lemuria continued to appear in publications like novels, films and comics long into the 1940s. When viewing these works of fiction, many people wondered where the fantastical ideas that the authors and filmmakers used came from. In any case, they obtained their concepts from authors and scientists around 75 years ago. Fast forward to the year 2013. There are no longer any scientific ideas that propose a lost continent and land bridge as the cause of the migration of lemurs. On the other hand, geologists have recently found remnants of a continent that seem to have vanished in the Indian Ocean. Scientists found granite shards in the ocean south of India, along a shelf that extends hundreds of miles south of the country and toward Mauritius. Geologists found zircon on the island of Mauritius despite the fact that the island didn't exist until two million years ago. This was due to the fact that plate tectonics and volcanoes were responsible for the island's gradual ascent out of the Indian Ocean as a tiny landmass. But the zircon that they discovered there had a date of three billion years ago, which is a significant amount of time before the island had ever formed. The zircon was thought to have originated from a much older continent that had submerged into the Indian Ocean a very long time ago according to the hypothesis of the academic community. With a few exceptions, Sclater's account of Lemuria was accurate. Mauritia is the name that geologists have given to the continent that they believe to be the lost continent, rather than Lemuria. The disappearance of Mauritius into the Indian Ocean occurred around 84 million years ago, when this part of the Earth was still in the process of transforming into the shape that it is in today, according to the data from plate tectonics and geological studies. Furthermore, despite the fact that this is in general in agreement with what Sclater had previously said, the new data lays to rest the idea that there was an ancient race of Lemurians that eventually developed into lemurs. The island of Mauritius vanished 84 million years ago, but the evolution of lemurs on Madagascar did not occur until around 54 million years ago when they swam to the island from mainland Africa, which was located closer to Madagascar than it is today. On the other hand, despite their limited knowledge, Sclater and a few other scientists working in the middle of the 1800s were somewhat correct in their belief that Lemuria existed. Suddenly sinking into the Indian Ocean and disappearing without a trace is not the case with a continent that has been lost. However, a very long time ago, there was something there, something that has since vanished without a trace. Remember, the search for truth is an ongoing adventure and each discovery brings us closer to unraveling the secrets of our past. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on our future explorations. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep seeking the unknown.